it's Steffi J here. Um, got my glasses on my head. So, um, I started my project before I pushed record. I feel like really stupid. So, if you go to your local Dollar Tree, you'll find these bags of, um, kind of looks like it would be beads, but it's actually not. It's really thin stuff. Like, I don't know what you would call it. But it comes in three pack. You want both sets of colors. And then you're going to pick you up some glass jars. The little glass, um, little glass jars. They come four in a pack. You want two packs. And then you need a pack of doll rods and a pack, little pack of wood. Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to take your wood and you're going to glue it with your doll rods on the side. We drilled the holes in the top, put the doll rods through that way. You could adjust it, but yet on the bottom, there's nothing because I wanted it to sit flat. Okay, so you're going to take your jars and you're going to put as much of the, I don't know what to call this stuff. It's like not glitter and it's not beads, but you're gonna put your colors in as much as you want into the bottles. And then what I did, I took the lid and put it on one of them and then I put glue on the lid and then I stuck it to the other bottle and just let it dry a minute okay so that's how mine is so what you want to do is whatever house you like make sure that it has the most beads or um, whatever the stuff's called um, it is called tube confetti. Yeah, three bags per container. Okay, so you make make sure you get all of the houses. So we have um, Slytherin, and you can see the lids. So what I'm gonna do is I picked up the the ribbon from you get. Um, four of them in a pack and so um, just take and unhook it here just a little sticky oh goodness okay and then you're going to want to I know this isn't the color I should be using okay so what you want to do is add a drop of hot glue and then get your your ribbon started and you want to cover this lid so just wrap your ribbon until you've covered this whole lid. You see I have blue now in the middle. I wish it would have been a better color blue. Okay, so I'm having the hardest time with this one. Okay, now. Okay, this hot glue is hot. I guess the whole point in hot glue. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this around the whole bottle. And when you get to the end, you're going to add some, add a drop of hot glue on it. And then we're going to close off our ribbon and then just cut it with a pair of scissors. Okay. 
and then put it on your okay so then we're going to put it on here like this and we've got white on our Slytherin now we just need to add the red to our Gryffindor and then we'll start gluing everybody down on our house counter. Okay, so take our ribbon and we're gonna put a little hot glue a little bit of hot glue yowch, brought myself again we're going to wrap this and don't get upset if you um, get a little bit of glue on on the bottle or anything because you can always peel it off it it will peel right off it's not it's not going to ruin it okay and then I need to put just a little bit of glue so we can little drop of glue so we can close off the end of our ribbon just like that and then cut it with our scissor that way it's good and closed off okay now I'm gonna take and start putting a piece of put a hot glue dot on the bottom and then we're gonna add our slithering then I need to put another glue stick in it takes a lot of hot glue Okay, then I'm going to do a little bit more hot glue. Then we're going to put in our raven ball. You might want to put some little marks on where to put put these because I am not spacing these out like I should be and then you want to make sure it's the beads for the ones you want to be the fullest are on the top and I've got one of mine upside down my um, Slytherin is upside down that's okay this is one of those moments where you can easily fix it. Okay. I just pulled it off. Take off your extra glue. I'm just going to add some glue on the bottom right here. Put down our slither. Like this. Okay. Now we're going to add glue to the top like this this and this and the way that I made mine mine can be adjusted so I'm going to take my hammer and just barely tap you can get a rubber mallet from the Dollar Tree I'm just going to tap it down enough that it holds all of mine in place. A little bit more. And a little bit more. And looks like I need to come down just a hair more. 
Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more glue up on the tops of my counter. You can peel off your excess glue later, and I'm going to hit it with my hammer. So now, you can stain your wood. Now, you can hook a ribbon and have it go up, and it can be a tree ornament, a Christmas tree ornament for your Harry Potter tree, or it can sit on a shelf. It can sit on a shelf and be your house counter, whichever house is your favorite. Um, I have another one, but I, it's my first one that I made. I didn't put any ribbon on it yet. And that's what it looks like. Of course, Slytherin doesn't really have any points because I am not a Slytherin fan. And that's how you make the counter. Um, now, the next project, there's a bunch of printables online. And I forgot her name, the girl that I get my printables from. But I have all my printables printed out. I even have a box of cheery owls that we're going to make into an ornament. So I have a bunch of projects here that I'm going to make, but I wanted to show you um, the house counter keep track of them points and this is it with the ribbon and that's it without the ribbon I need to clean up the hot glue off of it because they were just made um, I hope that you like those and I am getting ready to make another project we're going to take a foam block from the Dollar Tree cut it into pieces and we're going to make luggage we'll have Harry Potter's and then of course I'm going to make another set with my initials because I'm going Hogwarts and then I have a smaller um, luggage that I'm going to use for someone else um, I'm also going to cut this eyeball in half and glue it to another ornament and make the professor look oh I forgot his name he only has one eye Anyways, I will do all these crafts online. I wanted just to show you how to make this house counter. I really like it a lot. I think they're super cute and they make really good ornaments, but can also just sit on a shelf. So, as they'd say in the Harry Potter world, a happy Christmas. <laughs> God bless you guys. Have a great day.